So since today is 9-11, um, I'll share with you guys where I was um, when 9-11 happened, when the two planes crashed. So I used to live, um, live in Diamond Bar. Um, and I think I was around 15 or 16 at that time. And, um, you know, I think I wasn't at school because I was on a, a home program. I think I got kicked out of school. And I think my mom woke me up. And me and, me and my parents, we, don't, we can't really communicate that well. I mean, she has really broken English and I have really broken Chinese. So, you know, when she... When we talk, it's just like a mixture of both. You know, and she only, it seems like we can only discuss the simple things. She would only ask me like, oh yeah, have you, did you eat yet? And stuff like that. This is the basic phrases. I need to work on my Chinese. Um, but yeah, she, she woke me up and then she was trying to explain to me what happened, but because of our language barrier, you know, from what I heard from her, she was like, I thought she said, hey, Tony, fucking New York is, is gone, and I and I thought she just said that a fucking like a meteor hit New York and shit. I'm like, oh fuck, are you serious? There's no more New York. But I turned on the, the TV, and I and I saw what was happening and shit. I was like, man, it, it didn't look real, you know. That's not something you see every fucking day. And then, you know, just listening to all the stories of you know people, you know. They're jumping off like the top floors and shit because you know the flames um, were too hot, so they couldn't bear it. So I was like, "Damn, like, what would you do in that situation? Would you burn to death, or would you would you, would you would you jump off, you know, to, to your death? You know, you know. I hope no one ever has to make that decision. But you know, even though." how fucked up it was I, I realized it didn't really affect me that well because it was all the way across um, the US but I started thinking you know what if what if that shit hit closer to home I don't I don't really know anyone in New York you know I don't know anyone that knew anybody um, in the towers but I'm you know just I'm just thinking to myself like yo what if what if that shit happened in LA like what if, what if that shit happened in downtown LA and I knew people um, that would have died or what if I knew uh, what if I had friends that had friends that would have died so you know I just think just to reminisce about you know it's, it's been so long but that was where I was during 9-11 and you know it was, it was a really a real tragic event and I'm I'm still I'm sure people are still traumatized by that event. Um but I'm glad those fuckers had it coming. Fucking bin Laden and shit. But yeah that's just my story. Um trying to diverse my videos a little bit from you know the the proverbs and and add more uh, story uh story videos. Um, I'm working on a complete series. So actually, I just finished a complete series of um, the time I was locked up from uh, Los Angeles Juvenile Hall to camp to uh, two terms in prison. So just stay tuned for that. So hopefully you guys are being productive today. Uh, going to the gym, reading some books, getting your mind right, getting your health right. So remember, you only have one life. So make your body, make your mind, make your soul, make your relationships, make your life to die for. Peace.